guys, so today I'm doing my May favorites. Um, I haven't, I've, I recorded a bunch of my favorite, like my um, monthly favorites, but they just never get uploaded because I lose them or I get busy. Um, school this year was kind of my thing. Um, I know it's going to be a really common excuse throughout the next couple of years I do YouTube. Because uh, I do plan on doing this kind of the rest of my life whenever I can. I know that they're pregnant in my 20s and stuff. I will probably lose interest in doing this. Uh, we'll see how my life goes. <laughs> um, it's not important enough because I know I'm just a 15 year old girl. Um, probably should not put that out there. But, you know, whatever. Life. What else? I really look like I, sh I shaved the side of my head. <laughs> Sorry. So that looks really weird. I feel like that looks really weird for me. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with beauty favorites because I have like a whole tub of it. Um, okay, first favorite. This. Um, I did the shampoo and conditioner. I got like the combo pack. It's like the two packages that are like wrapped together. Whatever. It's the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Moisturizing Shampoo with coconut. This stuff is really heavy in a freaking bottle. Like, oh my god. Guys, if you could smell that, <laughs> you would die. Um, I actually like went to the store and I got like a new shampoo, but I'm like almost out of this. I didn't get a new shampoo. I had like another shampoo that I could use because I'm trying to get like rid of all my shampoos right now. I have like three or something. I have this one. I have my baby... My baby, my baby shampoo for a reason does not like me this year, so I might give to my brother. Um, and then I have my trust me one that I've had for like three years or something. Okay, not three years, probably like a year. But it's like the huge, like it's like this big or something. And I was like so tired because I'd been using it like for months on end. So I got a new one for the summertime. And it was this one with the conditioner. I actually went and like bought like a huge condition, like bottle the conditioner, so I could like go with the shampoo that I'm using right now. So hopefully those will both wear out this month, so then I can kind of go and get new ones. But yeah, this stuff is heaven on earth. Oh, by the way, guys, this this video you're gonna see a lot of um coconut. Like coconut is like life <laughs> right now. So yeah. To go with the coconut obsession. This is the Honolulu Sun Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel from Bath and Body Works. And it says on the back, Beautiful island sunsets, tropical blooms, lively luau's on golden sand beaches. You had me at Aloha. Now who wants the hula? Uh, key notes are fresh island coconut, Pacific palm, ocean air accord, sun drenched, nah, sun drenched, Sun drenched citrus. Oh my god, I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Um, and white sand musk. It was my like, we were having a conversation with the one of the ladies that was working there, and we were like joking about it and how it says, uh, Ocean Air Accord. And like, we we're all joking around about it, and we we're like, oh, so that you guys went to, you know, the seaside, you captured the air in a bottle, you know. Da -da. We're all, like really joking about that. It was like kind of funny. I don't know. Like I just love this scent. Like literally, guys, another heaven in a bottle. Like I literally smelled like this like all of May. Oh, it smells so good, guys. <sighs> I got like shards on my nose now. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I have nothing to say about this other than it's like perfection. And I actually like kind of like the picture. Like, I'm not a tropical person whatsoever. Like, I'd rather go into the mountains and go to the beach. But, that is just gorgeous. <coughs> okay. Next thing. This would be a lot of hair stuff. Sorry. My hair was, like, really important this month, I guess. Okay. I have difficulties with hair ties. Because they always break on me, or I always lose them, or my cat eats them, and then poops them out. Which sucks. But these are like my latest obsession. It's the like fabric hair ties. Like these are just so good and like, I don't know. I just love it. What am I doing? Hitler mustache. 
Um, but yeah, this is just black, just because it goes with everything. Oh, look at my eyes. My camera <laughs> does not like me. I swear, it's evil. But yeah. Okay. Next thing, I'm almost done with fashion, guys. I, or like fashion and beauty, I swear. Um, these. I, I had like a million hair brushes, and like they were all just going to crap. Um, basically. And so I went like brand new, uh, hairbrush shopping and you can see like all the, like much, how much I've used these. Like I use this one in the shower and I use this one when I get out. I haven't blow dried this one yet. Um, I think I'm going to try and do that like June. I don't know. I think it's really like, fun to do. Really cool to do. Who knows? I could give myself really cool hairstyle. Um, <laughs> sorry guys. That was really random. But yeah. I just like love these like yes and these are from Conair I think they're from like a special line or something I don't know but they're just blue because they were just the prettiest color they had other than like lime green or something and I was like mm, not feeling the lime green this year <laughs> sorry okay sorry about my voice like I keep doing weird things with it I'm sorry I'm trying to get it to stop these have been my lifesavers for May like, I don't know, like, the May, like, the month of May, like, my eyes just, like, started failing. And, I, like, thank God I had these, like, still. Like, I hadn't lost them yet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you guys this in a while. You probably won't know this, but anybody who knows me and is part of the, 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 fa the family, <laughs> the, the mental family, these remind me so much of Veronica, like, from uh, Best Song Ever. Does anybody remember that song? Like... I know it's not that old. It's like maybe three years old. I think it's like three years old this summer. But yeah, like the August or July or something. Oh, hello. It looks really weird. Um, I need to wash them because they're like dirty. But yeah, I don't know. These like remind me of Veronica. But yeah, these saved my life. This like this May at school. So because I always end up somehow like getting the back seats because I like the back seats. That's why. Um. Oh, I have some really funny stories to tell you guys. I might have to do that in another video. I might have to do like funny school stories or something. But yeah, these are just lifesavers. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I look like really smart with these. I look smart. If I actually am, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, yeah. I know what story I'm about to tell you guys. It'd be funny, kind of. Okay. One more thing, and then I promise we're done with fashion and beauty. Okay, these, I have two, but one's in the wash right now, I think. These were, okay, the funny story behind these. Okay, my mom. Okay, my dad died, and my mom got rid of almost all his clothing, except for like a few things. And I actually have a t-shirt of his, and a hat of his that I got him, and the frog that I got him. It's like a little stuffed frog, it's adorable. I'm about to do it in a video sometime. Um, I think he actually shows up a couple of my videos. So, look at my room tours, guys. He might be in there. He might be in the background, too, for a couple of videos. I don't know. Anyway, my mom had these, and she, like, never wore them. And she actually bought these for my dad. Like, these are, like, men's, and they're, like, larges. Yeah. Um, there's, like, long sleeve white t-shirts. And like May, like the days it would rain or like I didn't feel like really dressing up. Like especially the days of like my exams and stuff. Cause I had like, a, I had like one exam this year. I was supposed to take two. But then they told me that I wasn't going to take one because of like crap that happened. Um, uh, with the school system and my timing, my horrible, horrible school timing. Um, but yeah, my mom, she like gave me these. Cause she like just held on to them and she never wore them and yeah, so. I like wear these like a lot throughout May, like especially like the rainy days and just like my exam days and they're just like so big and comfy and like I would wear these like as pajamas or like when I just got cold and they're not sweaters, they're just like regular t-shirts but they just like work as sweaters for me so I don't know, they just smell really good. Like it smells like my mom's dresser, it smells really good. Okay, okay that's fashion and beauty. Okay, next story. That goes with this item. Okay, so as you all know, I am 15. I turned 15 in, Octo in um, November. Excuse me, not October. And 
And so May, I went down and took my driver's test. And I passed, I missed like two questions out of like 30 or something questions. I can't remember how many questions, but I just missed two like questions, but I passed. So I was really happy. So I got, I'm trying to cover my info. So I got my learner's permit. Uh, my mom's boyfriend's a teacher at Drive, so pray for him. Um, <laughs> there's gonna be at least one Facebook friend that's gonna watch this, and they're gonna be like, yeah. If not like two or three, like there's a couple. It's like, there's a couple of you I'm really expecting. Um, but I was like, okay, well, I need to get a new wallet because like either, either my wallets are all like huge, or they have like way too many pockets, or it's like my one like favorite wallet it like the zipper on it broke i had to find it again i don't think i even have i don't know if i even have like the zip part anymore so i don't know i'm about to look for it oh god i'm talking a lot sorry guys just knows how long this video was um but yeah i got a new wallet and it's just like gorgeousness and like look at that it's a remington 12 gauge shotgun bullet and it's just beautimous. Like, I just like the way this thing, like, opens up. Like, it's just really cool. Like, it's got the one flap. And, like, I have a bunch of gift cards and stuff in here. Like, I have a bunch of cards. Like, most of these are, like, school cards. Or not school cards, but, like, um, gift shop cards. Duh. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Like, I don't know. Okay. I found this when I was unpacking and I thought it was like adorable and I thought it was like really funny and like the way my room is set up it's like I have my bed under my windowsill and like my windowsill my win windowsill my windowsill my windowsill is like probably this wide so I can put like little stuff on it and this is like one of the items I put on it and I like put my phone in this like every night when I go to bed and it's just like adorable and it I got this from Pier 1 I think it was like 12 bucks or something like it was kind of expensive but I just thought it was adorable so I use it for my phone like all the damn time so yeah it's just adorableness and I just love it and my mom actually had like the swing a son of this because this is a papa son my mom had like the swing a son one and it was like adorable I don't know if she still has it I might have to ask but yeah I think this is like adorableness and I just thought it was really cute and funny and just kind of a unique piece so that's just my windowsill I'm actually filming right next to my window so I'm like looking at it and it just looks really weird but it's like me in a in a box kind of okay last two items I swear and then I'm done oh no I got one more item okay May was like the month of like reading for me and hopefully June will be too because like I have a lot of books I want to get through this summer and not a lot of time to get through them so it doesn't help that I haven't really started yet Okay, um, a few years ago, me and my family, or it's my, me, my mom, my brother, went to Silverwood for 4th of July, and it was, like, really, really fun and really cool. We well, stopped by one of the gift shops that, like, the train goes to. I think the train, like, parks, like, right outside the gift shop, so, like, a really cool shop. But this was one of the items that they had, and I thought it was just, like, a little, like, guide around the park. But no, it's, like, a full-on, like biography of the author and you can see how far I've gotten <laughs> but um I had always read this like during my classes that it, like it didn't have anything going on or like during study hall because a really cool thing about my school is you have like a study hall which is really nice to have um yeah I don't know, I think it's a really good book, like, so far. Like, this is, like, gonna be, like, one of my favorite books, I think. I know, I think it's gonna be one book I'm not gonna get rid of, because it's, like, so, like, just cool. Like, you don't find this at, like, a Target or a Walmart. Like, you had to go to two so wood to get this. So, I don't know. I think it'd be really cool. So, yeah. It's called, I should have said this when I showed it, but it's called American Theme Park, The Creation of Civil Wood by Gary Norton. And if you read his story, his story is, like, so cool. Like, I don't know, like, I just, I don't know, this guy. Like, can we just talk about Silverwood? 
how cool it is and like you get to know the guy through so wood so because that's like his baby right there so yeah oh, sorry guys camera <clears throat> okay I think it's trying to tell me to hurry up okay last piece I swear okay May was not also just the month of reading it was also the month of creativity and writing and like I already write a lot like anyone who knows me knows I have a Wattpad account and I write on there like all the time mostly fan fiction so my, my guilty little pleasure uh, <laughs> there's so many people gonna yell at me for using those words I don't care um well, that looks really cool. Like, I guess it does not look that weird in person. But this is like one of my favorite notebooks, and it's like torn up on the side from how much I've used it. Uh, but this thing like really goes everywhere with me. Like, and I have like so many weird like things right now. Like, I have teachers' emails written down for like my application in school. So those those teachers will get an email soon, hopefully. So yeah. <laughs> It's been really cool, and I, I hopefully I'll get to hear about it. they're kind of opening their emails and yeah, and then, like I have like random like little thoughts that went through my head, like yeah. Oh, I just flashed teachers' emails! Yay! Hopefully nobody reads them. Uh, but yeah, and like I don't know. I think this will be turned into one of my like writing journals soon because I'm about to run out of room on the one, so. Yeah, I'm going through like major writer block right now, so kind of sucks. I'm hoping that ideas will kind of come to me. Um, okay, last item, I swear. I swear, and then I, I will log off, I swear. Okay. Okay, May was also the month of illness out of the wall. Zoo. Okay, I get like serious allergies every change of the season. Every season. Oh. And this year it was just really, really bad because of me moving and stuff and like different stuff in the air. <sighs> this is literally like my second box of these. Like I went and bought these and then like my stuff quit and actually my nose was like clogged up this morning so my daisies tonight. I go to bed. <laughs> but these are the Breathe Right Extra Clear for Sensitive Skin because my skin hates me. 50% uh, stronger to breathe, even better. These work like a miracle. Especially if you take like a shot of medicine. <laughs> like that's been my concoction this month. Is like medicine and then like something to dry it down with. And then I put these on and I go to bed and I feel a lot better. I, I don't feel any better like the next day in the illness. But these at least help at night so I can actually sleep. So yeah. Alright. I think that's it for my favorites. Oh no 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 no. Songs. Okay, I'll make this really, easy, really quick. Okay, sexy can I? Oh my god, my friend introduced me to this song like years ago, like years ago when I met her. I think like 2010, 2011, 2012, something like that. She introduced me to this song, and it, like for the longest time I hated that song because like I was just like innocent little girl. Um, no, not anymore. I'm 15 years old and go to public school. There's no such thing as innocent. <laughs> um. But yeah, I just like loved that song that month and that along with Good Girls Go Bad. But if you follow my Instagram or my, I think I put it on Twitter. I don't know if I put it on Twitter or not. I know it's on Instagram. I know it's on Facebook. I think it's even on my Tumblr if you follow my Tumblr. Um, I'm going to link all those down below now so I can, except for Facebook. Facebook I will not link. Um, but I will put this video up on Facebook for people to see. Um. Like, I don't know, like, I just, like, posted a picture of me in a leather jacket and red lipstick and, like, a black knit beanie, and it was, like, so funny, and I just, like, put the caption, I put, good girls go bad, and, like, a lot of the comments that I got were just so funny. In fact, my friend even knows, like, a story behind one, and, um, I was reading somebody's comment, and my friend, she goes, no, no, do not post why I know you, I know you, I know what you're gonna say, don't do it, nobody needs to see that side of you. And I was just like laughing the whole time. I was like, oh, why not? So it was really funny. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was really kind of funny. Um, so she's my lifesaver and a lot of other people's. And then the last song 
is John Mellencamp. So this is gonna be a really old song. So anybody who like listened to oldies growing up will know this song. 